S corporation and basis tracking. What is your basis? What does it mean? And why should you care about it? My name is Tony Cameron with TLDR Accounting, and we provide tax and accounting services to therapists and private practice and other small business owners. So you're an S corporation. We're just going to start there. Uh, if you're not, no worries, pretend you are. Now, there's this thing called basis, and we talk about it with our clients, especially when we're talking about distributions. Do you have enough basis to take that distribution um, and all of that, right? Some of this could be like, what, what the heck are you talking about, Tony? Well, so basis, an easy way to think about it is how what what is your investment in your S corporation, right? So you can be like, well, I don't have an investment in my S corporation. I started my private practice. I have income coming in. I did, I put maybe like $500 in my bank account, you know, and so my base was, my basis is $500. No, no, no. So your basis is any money you did put into your, uh, your S corporation. So if you put that $500 to open your checking account, it starts with $500. Now, say 2019 your uh, your s corporation earned a thousand dollars now your basis is increased for income that the s corporation earns so you started with five hundred dollars now you add a thousand dollars uh for your net income for the year so now your basis is fifteen hundred dollars yay that's great uh but say you also then took five hundred dollars out Okay, so that reduces your basis, which means now you have a thousand dollar basis. Great, why do I care? So the problem comes in place where say you had that thousand dollar basis and you wanna take, you know, two thousand dollars out. Now, maybe you have that two thousand dollars because you've been paying expenses on your credit card and you have a credit card bill, right? And so you have two thousand dollars you can take out of your account, ignoring the fact that you have this credit card bill. Uh, but that $2,000 would reduce your basis to below zero. We never want to reduce your basis to zero or below. We actually encourage you no matter what to try and keep it at least $1,000 because uh, there are tax consequences for your basis getting below zero. When your basis gets below zero, you now have a capital gain on the extra amount. You're getting taxed differently on it. And you can be like, wow, that's complicated. It is one of the reasons that it gets super complicated is because people don't keep track of it. Now we recommend that you do keep track of your basis in your QuickBooks on the equity section. Owner's equity, there's usually, you know, if you're, there's an account called owner's equity. Now in front of us is an example of a calculation for basis. We have the stock basis at the beginning of the year. It's just under $9,000. You can see the income they had of $7,200. Uh, that's all the increases. You can see there's a whole bunch of other increases listed. Most of them don't come into play with professional service companies, right? We, we usually just see income coming in from their services. And so that's the only increase. Now there are a couple other decreases. So if you have any non-deductible expenses, so that would be something like uh, meals, only 50% is deductible. The rest of it's a non-deductible expense. Uh, charitable contributions, they're separately stated. They get reported differently on your tax return. So they are also a decrease in your basis. And then in this case, they took distributions of $9,000 out of the account, leaving your total dis uh, decreases in your basis for the year to be about $10,000. So at this point, you have the uh, the $9,000 beginning basis, the $7,200 uh, $7, increase, and the $10,000 decrease, leaving your stock basis for the year just under $6,000, which is great because it's not negative, right? We don't want it to go negative. That is really, really important. I know I keep saying it, but it is really important because once it goes negative, like I said, we then have to classify uh, some of the distributions as taxable, which we don't want to do. Part of being uh, S corporation is your own payroll. You have reasonable compensation and you then get to take distributions based on the profit of the company, right? So our biggest recommendation is when your tax return is getting prepped each year, this, this is getting done. Your basis schedule is getting done. We do it automatically. Uh, and then it's tied back to your QuickBooks account. So each year in your QuickBooks on your equity, you can see what your owner's equity is, uh, which is normally your basis. 
and that it's a good way to keep track of during the year, especially if you're only working with an accountant uh, for your taxes to make sure it doesn't go down uh, you know, negative. And if it does, that's a warning sign that you should talk to an accountant to see what's going on. Cause you more than likely having some cash flow issues, maybe something else is going on. Uh, if you're not having cash flow issues, it could mean that something with your bookkeeping is going wrong and that you want to correct before year end anyway, cause it's a lot easier to correct something like that in July instead of, you know, December, January basis. It's a complicated subject. We're just doing some high level information here. So you understand what's going on. Uh, general rule of thumb is it's increased for money you put into the business and income earned in the business. And then it's decreased for uh, charitable contributions, non-deductible expenses, and money taken out of the business. Sounds easy, maybe, uh, but it is one of those important topics that you should know. Uh, and just, just enough about that. It, it, you're not super confused. If, if your accountant is like, Hey, you had distributions in excess of basis. We need to talk about how to solve this and to make sure it doesn't happen going forward. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if so subscribe, and if you need some help on this book, an appointment with us today.